All right, welcome everyone. Uh, Goxera is grabbing his controller. I'm just gonna double check. You might hear an echo. I'm gonna double check how the how the sound is. Make sure all the levels a, are here. There is a slight echo on my end, but I don't know if that's the stream. You're probably hearing both things. You're probably hearing the Discord yeah. call and yeah. the stream. Yeah. That doesn't look like anything on my window right now. Let me refresh. Ooh, you already deleted a wanna become famous. Now it's a stream. Me too, <laughs> in my stream. Oh, that's what I see over there. Yeah, all right. Dude, I'm trying to refresh. It is stuck, man. <laughs> it is stuck. My computer is really grinding right now. Oh, oh, that looks like something. It's trying. It's trying. I see something. <laughs> It is simply taking forever. I've been trying to refresh the Sega crew window here. I don't even know for how long. Oh, it, it's refreshed. Yeah, it's working now. I finally got it. It took like a full minute to refresh. So I'm struggling here. If I do this, though, you disappear, don't you? No, you don't. Ooh, I can minimize your window. That's gonna help my resources. So I'm gonna try refresh again. I wanna get everything, I, I wanna get a little grease in the wheels so that we can just forget about it and then we can do our stream. My music is way too loud. I was only doing that so I could see if I could hear it on here though. Um, shoot, I, can, can you hear? too loud i was only doing that so i could see if i could hear it oh yeah it sounds good all right all right we're ready i it, as far as i care we're ready even though my uh stream window keeps freezing i don't care so i'm zetox this is gogzara yeah yeah and uh so i i'm gonna be doing this on and you should too on just something where you can do save states you know, if we're going to be showing each other stuff, we want to be able to yeah. <laughs> reproduce what we just did. So, all right. And uh, I want to let you know, I on a dry run of this game, I got to the last boss and didn't know what to do. So I'm getting close oh, to at least being able to beat this, but you're going to definitely have so, better stuff for me. I... I knew going in, going into this just because I had watched someone play on stream. I didn't watch them play the boss, but they were complaining about how there's a boss and it comes out of nowhere. So if you've never played this game, I know. you get up to that point and there's a boss. It's like, what what the hell? You know, because the rest of the game, you're not fighting anyone really. Right. It caught me by surprise. I was going to message you and be like, dude, you didn't tell me. There's a boss. <laughs> I got my ass kicked. Yeah, but uh and it, it, it's he he's really trolly and I struggled until all of a sudden just something popped in my mind and all of a sudden I ran and I put the game on and it worked immediately and I was like, wow. Well, check this out. My most recent save state here is right here. So I I tried some strats here, but I don't know if you have like a more awesome way to do this, but I noticed like the aiming is really off on this. Oh, and that corner really gets you. That corner is terrible. The bottom corner that juts out. Hold on one sec, I'm trying to... There, yeah, there's so much to keep track of that, like, I don't really know how I want it 
even set up on my own computer, but... Alright, I got you. Alright, continue. Alright, um... But, yeah, I... I got back to this boss on... Like, I got to the boss on the regular cart and died. So I got there again on this, uh... Everdrive. And, uh... I don't know. I'm wondering if there's, like... A lot better stuff than what I'm doing. I noticed that when you ta double tap it, it throws it farther. And man, and when you it, throw diagonal, the aim is all weird. I still haven't quite gotten the throwing down, and it's hard to articulate it. But it, um, like you know, if you tap it or if you hold it, you're gonna be throwing at a different one. But, See um, how did I miss there? I, that. Yeah. So it, it, it's hard. It's hard to aim it. It's all about the aiming. Like if I can get that down a little more, I'll be able to do this on command. Look at this but spot. That's a good place. Oh, while well, it lasted. Yeah, and they, they and there's no indication that they've hit you, but your energy yeah. gets drained really quick. Like look, look how quick yeah. I died right there. I lost like two thirds of my health bar. Yeah, they're real quick. You, you got you can't let them corner you. It's tough. So like when you're shooting oh. diagonal like this, they don't get in your range. Your range <coughs> you can't actually reach them here. So I just go like yeah. that and just reverse it on them. I don't know if that's like a known strat or useful. Oh. <coughs> I I mean if you if you can hit them from that first position as I do. But this yeah, is the big thing, catching them off screen. That's kind of what you got. That's pretty much how you. What you kind of got to do is is use use the angles in the corners. Well, all right. I'll show you <coughs> something I, I I found. I'll go into the top corner. <coughs> Why am I coughing right now? Hold on. <coughs> you got a, like a feather tickle in my throat. All right. So one thing I was doing was um going to the top corner and just catching them off screen once they filter out right here and then um just kind of getting them down here and then just m doing a mad dash to the top and then oh, i messed it up though but like once they're off screen yeah like that you can catch them where they aren't advancing like uh right here Like I just killed, um, sometimes you can just kill him off screen like that. There I can't reach him. Like this, I should be able to get him off screen. I think I did. Yeah, I did, see? And they don't advance. Yeah, you can kill him off screen. But it, it's, you, you know, it's hard to know which one you're aiming at and if they're multiplying or not. Yeah, it is hard to tell, but you can kind of track them like they stop wherever they were when you got them off the edge of the screen, you know? You, you oh! Gotta, uh... <laughs> kinda gotta, um, you know, hit them with multiple shots, otherwise they multiply, I guess. Yeah, and when they multiply, they're stopping, so you can hit them again, which is nice. Like you can get an extra shot in on the one that splits. But aiming is so hard though. Yeah, I, 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 I need to practice this. I haven't practiced it too much. Um, but... Ooh, there's an off screen one where I had them kind of trapped. It's almost like stun locking them where they can't move. Yeah. Like this, I bet you this guy dies. Maybe even the guy next to him. Oh, neither one of them. And it does, it does make a sound when you get hit. I just noticed. And then the last one is the worst. I can tell this isn't not, even Not it. always, but sometimes it does. The, uh, the sound. Ooh, I think I got this guy in a spot. No, he's got me in a spot. <sighs> Dirty. So here I can just try that off screen move. Oh, he moved. He moved. I'm going to try and do it. Now that I got this guy isolated, 
I figure that this is a way I think that you could just take out multiple guys. Oh, I just missed him. All right, we'll just do it this way. Come on. God, I'm so bad at this. So I've never actually beaten this in one. Dude, you are doing you are doing really well at this. Like it's it's so like it doesn't make sense some of the stuff, uh, some of the mechanics that like they aren't the same mechanics as anything else in the game. Uh, yeah, it's just very. I'm trying to get those distance throws too, where you double tap or triple tap. Yeah, it's it's so. In unintuitive but like right here I think I got them in a good spot where they're like see look at this and then I'll double tab and maybe reach another yep but that only lasts so long I think I don't think you could possibly cluster them well you could possibly cluster them all up together there's times where I've gotten them off the screen Here's one. and then it's, it's like I just can't can't aim at one or two of them. Well, the thing is that you have to get them off screen just enough where they stop. Because if they're totally off screen but just barely, they'll still follow you. But if you get them just so, they won't move and you can hit them. It's almost like the opposite effect of um, beat em ups where enemies, the trope where enemies go off the edge of the screen they can hit you but you can't hit them yeah but it's the opposite like you can get them to a spot where you can hit them but oh, that is dirty all right i'll try and do the off screen thing up here well, th that that thing you were just doing if you do it on the other side can you hit them um yeah see all right you can do it on on that guy, on the very last one, you can do it side to side because he moves so fast that he gets aggressive. And then once you deke him out, do a little deke move, he's already gone too far and you can just hit B all the way across. Otherwise, I, I've only been able to do it like on the top of the screen there. But the problem is... What? I'm gonna get to the boss. I don't have a save state there. Let me just beat the fourth level real quick. Well, we can start at the beginning. We can come back to this. I just wanted to show you some of this. Word. Yeah, no, that's pretty nice. So we'll uh we can go to the beginning here. Word. That that was just my last uh save state that I had, but I can just save over it. It's not a big deal. But no, you you were doing really well there. A dodging them and B throwing at them because yeah, the aiming is really the trick. I think. Uh, lately, I've been not doing it the easy way, but because I've been getting getting better at throwing on the fly. Hey, and now that we're set up, I'm gonna grab a brewski. Give me one second here, because this house stuff is really what I gotta work on. These are the main strats. Just. Just take it one house at a time, and then you just gotta learn the rooms and the scares and their patterns in each house. And then once you're comfortable with that, you can kind of just work off of that. Oh, wow, nice. That was seltzer water, but. Yeah. Already phoned over somehow. Well done. <laughs> all right i'm back sorry about that but uh so we got um so as far as anything action oriented in this game i feel like i have a decent handle on it but this is the stuff i really got to learn the uh, the house, the scaring, the spooking. Yeah. So uh, we got this guy stepping in the room right away, and I noticed that these orange ones kind of instantly get their attention. The but orange ones are are great because all they need is line of sight. The blue.
blue ones, they also need line of sight, but they have to walk over to it. So that's why the orange ones are great. Oh, yeah. Just do a quick scare. Yeah, you could do it from a distance. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, th this is where it could get in interesting. Like, you know, the, the dungeons and the, the boss stuff is just more typical arcade action, but this is where you get... I could see a lot of strategy. So, um... Yeah, I mean, it's, it's very sandbox, and there's so many different ways you can go about it. Like, I've been going in, and I'm just constantly finding new stuff and new ways and new directions. Like, you have to not be afraid to just throw out all the strats you found and you know, just find some creative new things. Yeah, um... I was gonna see if there's a... Alright. Um... We got... We got, do we normally have Vito walking right into this room right away? I don't remember that. I always remember find, finding him in the tool shed or the garage or whatever. He ends up there, so like they always start in a room and then they walk through a couple rooms and end up in a room. Yeah, there he is. All right, he's, he's in there now. Yeah, here, he starts in the room behind you, walks into your room, comes through this hallway, and then goes to the garage. But then once once you scare someone, they normally have a different room that they like to go to. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's... Not so much in this, in this first house, because um, the first house is kind of small. The first uh... house doesn't have everything because it's kind of... Uh, like, you don't have all your spells, the dog's not there. Oh, yeah, dangerous. spells. I need a... I, I, I didn't even use spells the both times I went through to the boss. Yeah, you, you have two spells you can use on the first level. Super Scare and Voodoo. Okay. Um, they're both pretty useful. Is he leaving? He's leaving! Yeah, he's Peace, leaving. Peace, dude. So... That what I was saying the other day is you need they need to move through at least three rooms. I just call it four, you know, they start in a room and then they go through three rooms. And you're like saying started in that room behind you, he went into the living room one, and then he went into the hallway two, and then he went into the garage three. Uh-huh. Um once they've gone through, you know, those three rooms, four including the one they start in. You, you'll be able to scare them out of the house. Like, before that, they won't go out of an exit. She only dropped... Oh, I see. No matter, no matter how scared they are. So, yeah, yeah. So you're saying you can't just kind of, like, break the game in that way and make them start right I, by an exit and run out of it. Yeah. Yeah, like, I've tried, and uh, there may be ways to do it. Which is a good reason to assume that it's not RNG. Like, that yeah. it's scripted in some way. There's very, from the more I play, there's very, very little RNG in the house, if any. Yeah, I could see that. And definitely not in the dungeon. That's super simple scripted. No, but the, the dungeons are glitchy, though, and some weird stuff. Can yeah, <laughs> I, I got stuck, like, on a wall. I wasn't in it. But, like, I got out of it. There was a spot where I was really, like, what? I forget what I used to do, but, like, you can cause the arms that come out of the wall to somehow emanate from the other side of you all of a sudden. So instead of coming out of the wall, they're just coming out of thin air. Oh, yeah! I've seen that! I don't. I think I want to say that I've done that the first time I played this. I was, like, the arm was shooting back the wrong way at me. I was in, like, the blackness. Yeah, that's weird. But, yeah, I'm, I haven't seen that at in, all since I picked it up. You can, you can soft... You can, uh... I was gonna say soft lock. I've just straight up gotten stuck on the ground in the dungeon. <laughs> um, I've also done that on the boss. Just gotten stuck on the ground in the dungeon. I've done it in the house too, but I've done it in the dungeon more, where you just get stuck on a spot and you just no matter what you can get. How dare you walk on the ground? 
So are there any strats here where you like kind of surround someone? I'm using way too many resources to get her out of this house. Um, don't, yeah. Try you can to kind of like do a, a phalanx or whatever. Like, because it, it, it normally takes three or four scares. Um, well, as a rule, it takes four scares to get them out of the room to raise their scare level. No, I mean, you uh, always find a way to do it with three. I was talking about like, um, to get them out of the room the fastest. It could could you do like a pincher attack? Like say so, she's looking that way and I can do this and just surround her like that? Kinda, yeah, but um... Like I'm gonna see so, what that does, I don't know. If you're trying to scare her out of a certain door, that's something to think about is you want her to like end up near the door maybe or don't you? Oh yeah, get her near the door. I didn't even think of that. So if you know ahead of time what door she's going through. Yeah. There's probably a lot of different <laughs> plans of attack within a room. So what and I've... And then sometimes like, there's a certain scare you want to use, but they, they won't look at that part of the room to trigger it. So you need to use another scare to get them... Oh yeah. To see the other scare. Yeah, I could see that. You can kind of like lead them along. Dude, the edges of these ledges well, yeah, are those, weird. Those orange, those orange ones, they're really good for quick scares, but those are like key in directing them to which way you want. Yeah, uh, there's one orange scare I remember that has that pendulum axe that is like key to getting scaring people out the into the other room. In this yeah. hallway. I think it's in this hallway. I think it's with the, this girl, too, specifically, I, I remember. And, so and she's... I found even, even if you don't use it to cut them off, like, sometimes if you use certain orange scares or certain orange scares together, they'll go out certain doors. Sometimes, even if it's not, like, the last scare you do, like, say you do a blue scare, then you do a couple orange scares, and then two more blue... They might still go out a certain door that was triggered somehow by those orange ones. Gotcha. Like their uh, their path is already set by the orange. Kind of. I like I don't quite understand it yet. I'm still feeling it out. No, I feel I feel you on that. That's I, I like kind of thought something sim similar to that. With the orange. Like it kind of, um, their path is already set if they don't go the other way, but the, they could go the other way with the orange. And once you do yeah. it, they're gonna go that way. Yeah, kind of, yeah, pretty much. All right, let's but, get- But it's like, if, if you use orange ones together, it's sometimes it's hard to tell like, you know, like which one is gonna override the other, so. Oh yeah, yeah. You kind of have to take it on a room by room basis when it comes to something like that. Gotcha. And, and because, because I found like, you know, sometimes when they come into a room, if I use this orange scare, they'll go out that door. If I use this orange scare, they'll go out the other door. Oh, this, this. Oh! I tried to do it before she got up there, but if I would have done it there, it would have done that pendulum and she would have ran right out into the main room. But I, oh yeah, this one too. This one will get her running back toward this door. Let's see, watch. And she sees that and she just goes back this way. Well, she was just running towards that hallway which has a door, so you probably should have just like- Well, here I wanna scare her with this, and then if I do this pendulum one, she should run not back into the- I can't do it though! Oh, oh she's still, okay, never mind. It's too late. I've already scared her too much. So then if I do this, I can get her right away. And then she should be gone. Yeah. Yeah. So so a lot of times, you know, when they're about to leave and they just need one quick scare, I'll just do the orange scare real quick. Because no matter what, they're going to run out of the house. The blue ones are like your bread and butter because they're pretty neutral. And, and they, the, they don't. They're, they're also the strongest. Yeah. Well, the green. Except for some. Some of the green ones can be stronger, but generally the blue ones are like solid. Yeah, you were saying something about that where the green you Sometimes could. The, some, like the green ones, 
you know, they sometimes they have something where you can just spam it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and then they're already at like medium. Yeah, sometimes they don't like recognize all the scares though, and sometimes the, you don't get that many scares from a green one, so sometimes the green ones can be stronger. What are your thoughts on the hit detection of actually jumping into an item to haunt it? Like sometimes, you know how it doesn't show up sometimes and then you have to be online with it and you can only come at certain ones from certain directions so like that one in the um see what's going on oh there it is so like one strat that i do is uh when i come into this room i'll go down and then straight left to, into the bed like you are now okay and i'll go left, right into the um telescope oh the... like, a lot of times i mess up because you got to be online with that telescope and you got to come at it from the right uh can you even look at where he went okay there are there are some scares that are really hard to to trigger because you you need to know the angle and and some there are times where you can jump into it without actually seeing that little light this kid um, is running through two rooms at a time man <laughs> Where is he? Yeah. Especially if you if you don't stay on them, they can just go zip through two or three rooms. This guy is a wall. Yeah, I think he's all the way up here. Nope. Oh my god. <laughs> if you go into a room and you hear the heartbeat, then they're probably. In the oh yeah, I forgot about the heartbeat. Where are you, kid? Seriously. Sissy's he's jumping two rooms. Every room that I advance. All right. You're mine now. That would have been pretty bad if this was a speed run. <laughs> Wandering oh, around I, the house and losing all my goo. I've been using that a little bit to my advantage. You really can scare them. And then instead of following them into the next room, I wait a moment. And then they're two rooms over in the room that has the exit. So I found the key to this is to just contact, whether you're jumping or not, like contact the top, a square entirely separately above the green sprite. So like if I jumped at this, I would still get it like that. As long as my sprite crosses that imaginary area above the green. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> like I was hell-bent on trying to jump and grab it like that. Yeah, you know, yeah this... uh, jumping around in the dungeon is pretty safe. A lot of times the animation will miss you. Yeah. Oh, I could have used a jump there. Wow, I was smashing that jump button. Anyway. <laughs> Hand really got me there. This kid, this kid is getting on my nerves. Let's vacuum him up. Right. Oh, he's running. He's running. I don't care. I got full bar. Let's go do this book. He's got to be in here. Oh, he's over there. All right, good. Closer to the door. Get out of here. Get out of here. Kid. The vase, the vase next to the fireplace there is pretty quick scare as well. I tried to go grab the Ecto, but it shot me through the door and it still... It canceled the Ecto out and it still didn't end the level. Well... No one said the game was perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna do a save state here. <coughs> Stage one yeah. is... I only, I only made save states last week or so. Because I, I was normally just kind of playing from the beginning. Um, but I only have save states up to the fourth level. Because I've pretty much just been practicing the third level for the last week. Oh, gotcha. No, I just... I, I got one rolling like save state. I don't have it. I don't, like, normally if I speedrun a game, I'll make a folder and then... If I want to use those slots, I'll do it. But a lot of times, I just don't. 
I'll just go through with one rolling save state that I overwrite every time. I've, I've made save states too for the dungeons, although I've never really practiced the dungeons, but I've done them so many times, it just kind of like... Works. But eventually, I'm gonna... Oh, there's a spell. There's another... Oh! Forgot about this one. Yeah, so it's really important that when you're in the dungeon, you get that Ecto spell. Otherwise, oh, yeah. Especially, I mean... There are plenty of times where I'm not paying attention to my echo and I get sent to the dungeon. Yeah. I saw it on the the race. Or no, or something you were doing with yeah. the Segawin it happened. I, I did it I did it I did it once during the race, yeah. I was trying to wait to the last second to use it. Well I was trying to throw it up in chat, but it was too late. I was like, use that ecto man. Watch it. Oh, well, cause sometimes when the dog barks, like it's oh, what's up with the dog? You're gonna lose and how many times the dog is gonna bark? Are right, you were trying to explain the dog? I don't remember what you said. Every time the dog walks in the room, he calms them down. Every time he barks, oh. he calms them down even more. Oh. So, so like their level will drop when he comes in the room, and then when he barks, it'll keep bringing their level down. So, what do you do about that? Just get out of the room. Well, every time he barks, too, it just steals Ecto from him. So, I've found that you can kind of, like, kind of stay out of his line of sight. Helps. Oh, yeah. The oh, there he is. Once. Get I do here. have that dog off spell is helpful, but it, it doesn't last too long. Maybe... It, it seems like he shows up if you're lingering too long, so maybe just try and scare him out. Before you know, the dog, he he, he, he he has a path too that I, I have to learn because there are certain times where he just like at the end of the run he's just always in the same place. So I think he has a set path. I've kind of just been playing around it. I haven't really been analyzing it. Yeah, it's probably not too cr critical a factor then. <sighs> I, I basically route out a run until he becomes like a, a uh, yeah. issue you get to drop the dog off. So like I'll, that's the point where like I'll I'll start dropping that dog off ahead of time at that point of the run. Alright, I'm gonna Grim Reaper her and hopefully she runs. <coughs> I'm gonna see what this does. <coughs> nope, she didn't run. Oh, so, I thought that scare would I, never take. I've found here that she runs back into that family room a lot of times when you use that scare. Well, she's going to leave now, right? I mean, hey, Cyphern with the raid. What's up, guys? Cyphern. My man. All right, I didn't even see where she ran. <laughs> Boo. Boo. Boo, everyone. Boo. Who? Who? Okay, we're gonna go. No, I should just finish this job right here. I should go after her. <clears throat> Trogdor, hey yourself, and also, boo. Hey, Cipher and Gwenicide. Yeah, yeah. Yo, had that go, Cipher? Oh, I was watching. I was watching you before we started streaming this. Yeah, man. That was very interesting. I was going in and out of sleep watching that crazy Sega CD game. All right, she it's better a super leave. stealth, spooky stealth stream, Gwen. <laughs> and Gwen aside with like, best costume. We didn't even we didn't even know it was on the schedule. Uh, it was planned, but it wasn't supposed to be during this event. Like stuff popped up and we couldn't us, line it up. It was planned by Destiny. Ah, yes. Good answer. Uh, we, and the half hour you missed was basically set up. Why won't she leave, man? I'm spending so much time just on... I'm trying to explain to him how to play this game right now. <laughs> although, although you're, dude, your, your instincts are very good at, at this game so far. Well, I'm glad to hear that because I, I keep feeling like... 
stuff doesn't make sense. Well, you're, get, so. you're getting it quicker than I did. I, I had to hammer my head against the wall quite a bit. Well, I didn't have... You didn't have you in chat <laughs> when you first played it. Um, yeah, where's so you, the well, you exit? Still did, you still did way better on the boss than I did originally. So. Oh, I hear you. Well, bo the boss is just a different game. It's like the game just switches and becomes something else. Yeah. This girl will not leave, dude. <laughs> what is going on? I feel like I'm spending all my time on her. Yo, I watched Beetlejuice the other day, Glenn. Oh, is that what your costume was? Were you, um... I, I, the uh, other day, I mean, like, two weeks ago, but, like, it feels like the other day. I've watched so many movies this, uh, October. I watched Beetlejuice, yeah. Beetlejuice is a zany movie. <laughs> I, I, last time I saw that, I was like, I don't remember this making so little sense, but I like it. I mean, it's great, but it's just like, uh... Like, you could throw the story right out the window and just put Michael Keaton and a couple other characters in it. And just, like, have the family get spooked. They've been, they've been trying to make a sequel. Now, as far as Tim Burton movies goes, it's definitely the most, like, absurd. So I didn't chase anyone out of the house right there. I should have used that Ecto. Dang it. Forgot. I feel like, let's just do a load state. Everything uh, was gonna, wrong. I'm gonna tell you right now, the second house seems to be the toughest because, like I said before, they all have patterns where they start in a room, they walk through a couple rooms and end up in a room. Because the second house is so small, if one of them is in the way of someone, like if, they, if they're on a path and they're trying to go into the next room and somebody's already there, will just stop their path and stay in that room. Most of the time. Yeah, it just seemed like I was chasing her around in a circle. I, I, I almost feel like I'm, I want to try not going after her. What, what's her name? Mimi? Mimi? Well, I'm going to try not happened. going after her it right away. During the race, she went around in a circle. She's a pain in the ass on the side. Yeah, I, I feel like I just... Sometimes you just get stuck to it. Yeah, it was it was a mess right there. Whatever just happened. So I'm gonna just make that a rule. I want to trial and error, see what happens. Like, don't even go after her in the beginning. I'll just find find her brother or something. Yeah, like if if you if you know which ones are gonna move through rooms quickly and which ones are gonna take a while to pass through those original three or four rooms they need like her she gets stuck in that family room like you might as well go after someone else first and come back to her when she's passed through a few rooms that was a good dungeon right there that was yeah, pretty was. slick <laughs> but i want to actually do the safe state here so i don't have to redo the dungeon all right anyway back here so where's the girl I'm just gonna skip her. <coughs> Where's her? Oh, this is her room. Where's her dumb brother's room? Down here. There you go. Play some guitar. Play some dirty laundry. He just walked out. That's right. They do way different stuff on this stage. And he walked out. And the dog barked. Doesn't matter. He couldn't be more calm. <laughs> he has no idea I exist or anything. So his head just spun around like exorcist. Should I be worried? I mean... He's not worried. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Should I run out of the house? your pants, pee it, whatever you gotta do, kid. Look at that old-fashioned toilet with the pull, pull string on the tank. Yeah. <laughs> the straight up, like, 1912 toilet. I bet you toilet paper wasn't even around when they made that thing. Alright. This kid better not do the same thing as his dumb sister. So I've already done this room. Oh, good, good, go that way. That's a good sign. 
So now if I... Where's an orange scare? Here's one. Oh, he's running, he's running. Is he? If, if but his dog barrier, came in. I, I, I can tell by the sound. Oh, like the heart beats time, faster? Now, yeah, like the way that it sounds. But like if he's at very high, he's going to run. Oh, yes, he went. All right, so I should be able to get him out right here, right? No. Yeah, like, yeah, there's an exit right here. If he's at very high and he walks into the next room, a lot of times he'll go down yep, to high. Yep, he's leaving. But if if he goes into the next room and he's still at very high, he's going to keep running. Wait, say that again? If his scare level is at very high, like it says in the bottom right corner on the yeah. screen, when he runs in, when he goes into the next room, it it a lot of times will go down to high. But if it doesn't, if it's still at very high, when he goes, oh, into he the should next run. Room, yeah, he's gonna keep running into the next room. Gotcha. Yeah. Like there's a strat I found where you can kind of instigate that to just push them through rooms. That's like a whole other thing. Look over here. Hello. I'm the rug doctor. All right. Thanks, Nightbot. <laughs> yes, thanks. Because I didn't put the command up on the screen, apparently. I was having a whole conversation with Nightbot yesterday while I was testing out chat. That's cool. Did you, did you bond at all? Did you learn about I, each other? I think we did. Night, Nightbot's quiet and probably won't admit it, but I'll... I'll put words into Nightbot's mouth. Alright, we got... What, where'd he go? Did, oh yeah, he left out here. And he's two rooms away. Oh, he's through... How did he get over there? What? Wait a second. Wait a second. That is... Really something. There he is. Guy moves fast and then he leaves immediately. Oh, watch, watch your ecto. I'm going. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I was gonna say I'm going straight to the dungeon, but I forgot I got. <clears throat> Come on. Yeah. Good call. And he left the room anyway, so I had to waste time. Either. Oh, come on, really? Where's an orange he's, scare? Listen, he, he's weird in the beginning of this level. It works to the, your benefit because he walks through a lot of rooms really quickly and then you can scare him right out. Like it's, I'm not sure why he does that. I think just finding an orange scare is the way to at least get him started. Like, you know what I mean? Because it seems like the blue scares, he doesn't, even if he's right next to it and looking at it, if he's going to leave that room, I think he's just going to leave. Oh, uh, yeah, no, he is. The only, it, when he's when he's set to just, like, walk out of a room like that for no reason, only an orange or a green one can break that. Yeah, that's how I got him in this room. I touched that table yeah. to make it bleed. So where's the orange here? Yeah, right here. But, but the green the, the green ones, like, they, you know, they can break his path, but he's got to have line of sight because a lot of times if he's not looking, he won't even acknowledge the green one. Yes, I thought he was going to leave. And the dog left, thankfully. Alright, now I should be able to string together something. Can't you do the table? Like, what? Or the book, or anything? There we go. This ought to get him out the door. Look at my Ecto already, after already using the Ecto spell. It's so bad. The gimp got got uh, hung. Well, he probably did it to himself, right? Yeah, it, I, I feel like that scare is really dark. It's pretty uh, dark. It's. I feel like that shouldn't be on ground level. It should be definitely uh, in the basement. Yeah. Like, you shouldn't have that right out in the living room. Just have your gimp by the front door. Yeah. Just. I mean, it's in the, like, coat closet. Like, the coat check closet. 
If you have a dinner party, their coat goes in there, oh, but... Maybe he, maybe he takes people's coats. Like, he opens <laughs> the door, he takes the coat. Yeah. Close the door, he hangs it up. Which is creepy anyway. Like, someone just... Have you ever come across a, a bathroom attendant at a venue or something? Like, those type of... Yeah. Non-self-serve... -self um, like, even the idea of someone pumping your gas back in the day. Like, all these people... You know, you know where that came from, I think, is like the Great Depression, like a job creation thing. It's sort of like the Walmart greeter. It's like just making a job so that someone can be employed. But you know they're making like not nearly enough to get by. That's what that greeter is like. He takes your coat. It's like, why are you taking my coat? Who are you? <laughs> Seven of diamonds. Okay. I did get a little off topic. But, uh. I don't know if that's better if we were seven. But. but that's just. I blame it on this guy right here in this closet. It's his fault. I, I mean, I, I just said that because I feel like that's one of the darker scares in the game. And it's like right on the first level. And like, you know, children are going to see that. Like no! Naked, naked naked again. Is it on the first level too? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, it is. Nice. I don't know, this, this all seems like fun and games until you open the wrong door. I talk about capitalism. When you scare them out of the house, they go and buy a bigger house full of more baller shit than the last house they had. I didn't know I was getting so deep into... What are we, what are we doing here? <laughs> like, what are we doing with our afterlife? Like, is it, are we even making progress on it, this family? It's sheer boredom. I mean, if you're stuck in purgatory for eternity, you're eventually you're going to do this. To capitalism. They just buy a new house full of new, more expensive stuff every time we scare them. Well, that's that's on them, I think, and, and that and good for the, good on them because don't you shouldn't let ghosts rule your life. True, I agree. I wouldn't. Move. I would move, but if I moved to another house and it was haunted again, I would just assume it's me, and I'm crazy. Like I wouldn't even assume it was a ghost, so that it would. It would be bound to drive you crazy no matter what. Oh, wait. I could have just gone into the next room here. That's another thing is keeping track. Do you ever take, like, a, a mental snapshot of the map when you check it? So, like, you know where everyone is? And I'm being dead serious about that. Oh, uh, what'd you say? That you shouldn't let ghosts rule your life. If a ghost came in here, I'd just be like, nah, brah. Also, I would be like, why aren't you helping me? get better at this game <laughs> I, you know, like, let's chill help me get better at this game instead of being a dick um yeah don't let ghosts tell you what to she do she should be at very high right here so i'm not gonna waste i'm pretty low on this ecto here gimme 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 all right now I want to see because the first you, you you remember I first I mean, attempted I'm sure there she are ghosts was with worse deals seven I you know I feel like you know them them playing video games with me they could be worse off you know she's the one that gave me the most trouble last time so I want to see how it works when I activate a an orange wherever she's that usually the worst she's usually the worst I don't know why she's just difficult to work with all around so I'm gonna By see far if I. The worst. I'm gonna see if that helps, like using that orange right there when she was at very high. No, there's no orange in and here. Tony is, is by far the easiest. He's like the opposite of flow. Yeah, I went after him first and chased him. Alright, there's an orange here. Alright, I'm gonna see if this wall is the key. Let's see where she goes after this. Go, leave. Yes! That was way better. That was way better. 
You saw the last attempt. I chased her round and round like 20 times. Until I just reset it. Um, so, any tips on float? Well, probably don't go into this room. Hold on one sec. Tips on and I'm going back to the dungeon. So we're gonna flows on hold here. I I'm still playing with this second level, trying to figure out optimal stuff, but it really is the, the tougher level. Okay. Like, like I said, because of the size, uh, and them messing with each other's routes, but also because it's so small, the dog crosses your path constantly. So yeah, they all. Constantly constantly calming them down and constantly taking your ecto and even if you use the dog off you're probably gonna cross this path more than once yeah well it's it, it's tough because like you said at, at first messing with each other's paths like they all ooh, they all uh God, I'm yeah, almost aggressive. dead so close to dying um but they all start like clustered together i think is the problem they all start like touching the, like an ad adjacent room ah <sighs> I gotta be so careful, and I just got punched by that arm. Uh, where is it? Oh my god. Please let me back in the house. So I could do my pointless afterlife. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, what, what's my pointage at? Th only 37? Oh no. Where are you? Well, how did Flo get way over there? <laughs> what? All right, let's chase her down. Oh, God. Yeah, they fly across the house. Too. Dude, she jumped like five rooms. <laughs> and the dog followed you that whole way. Yeah, somehow the right dog's on just on it. The dog knows, the dog can see the supernatural. Even though he's barking at the wrong thing right now. Oh, Flo left. And the dog followed her. This this room is real bad because it's hard to stay out of his line of sight. Hey, I tried to touch the table and it went to that? <laughs> what? Do you, have an Do you have an Ecto spell? Mm, uh, I don't think so. I'll check. Oh, it doesn't matter. It, it, the music stopped. It decided him. How did I lose so much Ecto so quick? You know I'm gonna have to go through some tight spot like bottleneck hallway or something here that's gonna kill me. Oh, if I make it out of this, it'll be a miracle. I just want to get back to the stupid house. I don't know how I got back to the dungeon so quick. Uh, and a whoopsie daisy. Get out of there. I wasn't totally paying attention. Oh, also, something I, I was trying to say the other day, but it came out very illiterate, was that every room that you pass through brings down their fear level so if someone's at like very afraid oh every, they're like okay a couple rooms over if you pass through two or three rooms they're gonna go down two or three levels huh like, I, I don't know why, that's good to know that's the thing. yeah so i well hopefully i'm through as few rooms as possible but like if um that's more, that's more like if they're in a different part of the house than you is when that comes into play. Hopefully I can just chase her out of here and be done with this. <laughs> I definitely need to practice. What is she doing? Oh yeah, I've got it where they get stuck too. Like they're just stuck being really uninterested in some corner. And Sometimes you can't... the only way you can get them unstuck is by activating a different scare. Or, or leave the room and come back, which... Yeah, slows you down a lot, but oh, 
God. All right, let's get her with this and hopefully. But yeah, if you accidentally go out of the room here and come back in, she should go down a fear level. All right, I need this Ecto. I think I forgot to grab the Ecto drop when I came back to Earth last time. So I need to, I, I still catch myself doing that. That was like my, my worst also, habit. Also, if you want, use more green scares and you should be getting a little more ecto. Here's a green scare. Oh no, she's leaving already. Never mind. There's a green scare in that cabinet and one in that yeah. uh, pot on the stove. All right. Hopefully this ends the level. Jeez. This level really gave me the business. Bye bye. Oh, that's unnecessary. Leave. Leave. Are you kidding? What's it take? Get this fool out of here. Leave. All right. Uh, we still have the issue of where's my health at? So I just did a save state here and I shouldn't have because look at my health. God dang it, dude. Uh, well, you, you get every 50,000 points you get up. I know, but I don't, I'm not going to get 50,000. I just have yeah. to knock it well, hit. This will give you good practice. Yeah, well, I haven't gotten hit on the last two and I've been at zero health for two straight dungeons. Oh, God. I mean, this it's part. not. It's not too hard, and to be honest, ah. the third, this this dungeon is the worst one. The third level. Yeah, the hallways, the little bottlenecks that oh. you go through. Yeah, the 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 next dungeon on the fourth level is not as bad. And also, I found that if you if you stay ahead of the drops, the echo drops. Um, you can actually get ahead of the things that can hurt you that spawn. Yeah. Oh, God. I got too far ahead there. Oh, you got to be quick. <sighs> All right. You might see me repeat this. I, I know I'm getting close to 50,000 points. <laughs> but you might see me repeat this a few times before I get through. I'm not going to get 50,000 points on this turn, I don't think. You're probably... You're probably not going to get 50,000 points for a while. Um, I just have to get out of this dungeon because I was dumb and did a save state because I didn't want to redo stage two. But... Should have been thinking about that. Um, I mean, I really should just redo stage two, honestly. Alright, here we go. Ah, I went too soon again. I did the same thing. All right, I'm just gonna let, I'm, I'm just gonna wait for that drop to fall before I jump and I should be able to get ahead of those bats. Maybe, the, we'll see. The bats, um, you know, go for where you are and then they lock onto it so you can like bait them in one direction and go another. Yeah, they kind of, they home in on you, but only in a straight line. So. Yeah. All right. Um, I think, but though, I, I think I can get ahead of them and not deal with them up here. Let's see. If I'm just patient and let that drop fall in that hallway. Oh, come on. Oh, those things are terrible. All right. So if I do this, let it fall. I grabbed it. Okay. But then I abandoned that one. God. <laughs> this is this was unexpected. I didn't expect to that, be stuck here with the part, safe state. That part though is like the toughest part. The part where you're where Yeah, you're I feel like if I can get past it, I should be able to get through this hopefully. That's probably the, the toughest part of any of the dungeons. And then once I do, I should definitely find 50,000 points on my next dungeon. Ooh, nice moves. Okay, there we go. Didn't even have to do the jump. All right. 
Isn't there one more bottleneck through here? Go! Oh! He got me! I was so close! <laughs> Alright, we got this. <laughs> you just yeah. grab me right yeah. in the butt. Alright, um... Why not? I'm imagining that you're still in costume, by the way. When I see your name. <laughs> oh yeah, that, well, that wasn't even a costume, right? That was like regular clothes. Oh, and the bangs were on fleek as the kids say. What? I didn't jump over that bat? You're supposed to jump over that. Cool, there you go. Also, boo. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry I got stuck here. I will get past this, I swear. It's hard to tell when you're gonna get hit by something or not, too. Actually, you know what? I take it back, because I kind of did used to practice the dungeon. I, ah, last I year, I, I made a save state, but I made it, when I wanted to practice the house, I had to do the dungeon first every time. Yeah, this this is not intended for practice. This is intended for me to yeah. get out of this state of being one hit away from death. Jumping through those narrow parts helps. And also waiting, waiting for the thing to drop. Like, so once it's dropped, I could just jump like that and grab it. Oh, I missed that one. This one. And then I could jump over the bat, dodge that guy. I just, here, how about this? I'll do a save state right here while I'm still alive. And then, I, you know what I mean? Like, the, the whole point of this is not to practice. <laughs> Here's another tight spot. Oh! See, all right, now I can just load this up. <laughs> and now the sound is glitched out. And I can't jump over the bat. That's confirmed. Listen to that music. Bet you never heard this remix. There, now it's back. Dude, this is intense. <laughs> These just narrow spots are so tricky. And you gotta go around that corner and back down. We'll get there. Just save state by save state. I don't care anymore. I just wanna get passes. Oh! <laughs> that was dirty. Watch me do it again. All right. Come on, grab it. Uh, what killed me? No idea. Yeah, I gotta be careful, Gwen. I've been spooking myself. I gotta chill out. Oh, oh, I was there, Gok. I was there. You were there. God dang it. I just absolutely you're, can't be one you're, pixel you're off. You're way more smooth, though, at the dungeon than me sometimes. I, I, I'm just way too aggressive sometimes in the dungeon. And it, it doesn't help because sometimes if you get caught in the pull of something, <sighs> it pulls you down more than anything. Come on, baby! Where's the end of this? Uh. You're almost there. Okay, I somehow missed that. Two more. It wouldn't let me pick it up. Oh, yes. You better believe I'm gonna save this state. Okay, because the whole point is to practice these stupid houses. All right. So next time I get to a dungeon, I have 55,000 points. So the first drop should be yeah. an extra guy, more or less. I had no plan of action going into this house, by the way. I, you know, Golf. I learned yesterday that the dog starts off in that room. 
So I'm going to just reload and actually think about what I'm doing. All right, so Flo is back down here. We'll start with her, just because she's close proximity. So the, the thing with house three and four is they cover a lot more ground. Um, they can get away from you pretty easily, so you got to be careful, because they can just go boom, zoom through four rooms. It seemed like they were already doing that on two some parts yeah but the, it's small that house is small enough where you can catch them like this house you gotta kind of memorize the layout because you can only get to certain rooms from certain other rooms i thought i already laid down those blue scares she was just standing there so what else can i haunt here there's something way over here the bear the fern the purse yeah it's just hard to activate them Oh, there it. Okay. Just, just try to find a line that's like north, south, east, or west. Well, Not at this point, I just hope she goes through this door. Symmetric, north, south, east, or west. Yeah. At this point, hopefully, yeah. There she goes. Get that ecto. That's a lot of ecto. She, she done. She yeah. done. Uh, been been uh, holding out on that ecto okay see I don't need to I don't need to spook much of anything else she should just run wherever she's gonna see, run to be honest you probably only had to do one there yeah like what one blue one maybe one orange one would have gotten her out can you tell kind of by the heart heart rate um I, I can tell by the heart rate because the heart rate lines up with the fear level, but look at the fear level when it pops up under their name there. But sometimes even uh -huh. if you do it on high, it won't go to very high, and sometimes when you're well, on very high, they won't run. You're, the animation takes so damn long, and anything in that bottom right corner has to like scroll down and then scroll up, and it does it so slow in the transition. Well, then sometimes you're scared quicker than it can do that and they're already at very high when it says like yeah and then them. and you have the dog factor too which i keep yeah, forgetting and, about and then sometimes the dog scares them down quicker than it can keep up so sometimes it's not you know caught up but otherwise um you can go by that uh i feel like flo is definitely giving me the run around here if she doesn't run somewhere else right now okay good 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 so where is she is she here she is here no her heartbeat stopped where is yeah, she no i can hear her. she's at a view she's no go back she's she was near oh, the uh, doorway the other doorway out of sight all right i'm just gonna wait see what happens two scares should be if enough you, you hear their heartbeat or you see their um portrait in the bottom right corner they're in the room yeah but the portrait kind of went away and so did the heartbeat yeah. it kind of fooled me a little bit all right what do we got is there an orange scare in here oh we got this though plunger plunger from hell boo I'd be af i'm afraid of regular plunger <laughs> One that was possessed especially with all that corona I'd be afraid if that plunger was just trying to touch me like i don't want to touch a, some yeah ass plunger like you know what have to bite, bite me or anything i just i'm talking pre-covid like being the type of like being just the guy i am in games that i typically like it makes me very happy that there is a golf picture and a nin ninja poster on this game I, I i love the golf one he just drives the ball right at you but even just the fact that it's there is like dude also, you hell know yeah what? I, to be honest i i don't use that golf poster all the time I'm, i think he drives it right at you the, the one in the other house the fourth house he definitely does but sometimes the scares work differently in the different houses they don't do the same thing dude i get so disoriented like i didn't even see that door i was like how that how did she get there where she got but yeah that door is like hidden okay good to know 
Um, yeah, that, that door you just went through, too, I used to miss all the time. I just went the other way because I didn't see the door. I thought it was just a wall. And she ran out and didn't leave any Ecto. I better check, uh... How did she get over there? That's terrible. And I got no Ecto. So... But that's okay, I'll get my... Alright, there's a dog dish. I didn't mean to do that. I'll get my, uh... Power up here. There we go. Now we're back. And actually, let's just do a save state. Now we're back in business. I don't know, Gwen. Uh, I have no perception of time, but they, uh. they tell me the East Coast. Uh, yeah, I'll tell you also that he's in the East Coast. And I'm not going to tell you that I'm in Central Time. How about that? You know, I've, None I've of been, your business. I've no. been thinking about something. You know how uh, Paul Saltine lives in like his made-up time zone? Oh, yeah, out in the mythical lands that even Canada won't acknowledge? Yeah, like... Parts if, unknown? If, if, if they just make up their own time zone... if No Paul, one would know! But, no, but if <laughs> Paul was to make up his own time zone within theirs, who are they to tell him he can't do that? So well, Paul could just make up his own Paul could time just zone. declare I would do his, d his backyard as a sovereign nation. It wouldn't make it declare so. my own time zone where I'm always on time and everybody else is... Get up there, you... Sorry. I'm reacting to the wonky mechanics. Okay. And there's a lot going on in this dungeon here, too. A lot of drops falling in weird places. To be honest, I'm only up now, Gwen, because I took a nap yesterday. And I only took a nap yesterday because I had to work all day. And I only worked all day because I got called in on my day off while I was streaming Thursday night trying to play this game. So, had I not got called in to work Thursday night and worked all day yesterday, I would have taken a nap and I wouldn't be here. So. Make of that what you will. And then you can roll right into some typing of the dead, right? Yeah. Maybe roll into it, depending on what you want to do. But uh, yeah. typing of the dead is going to be hype. Hour, but I am definitely going to make coffee soon. So she already jumped two rooms instantly, but that would have been easy to do anyway with that door there. So I'm gonna use an orange here just to get her started. This room looks like fun. I never really noticed some of the stuff. Look at what's on the TV there. <laughs> Yo, there's still there's, there's still some scares I haven't done because there's a couple rooms I don't go into a whole lot just because I don't give them a chance to like make it to those rooms in like the third and fourth house. Yeah, that TV looks like a really fun one-on-one -on -one kind of like to be honest. Brawler. When when you pause it, all the house, all the rooms on like the west of the house, they don't really make their way there a lot. Um, that tank level. there can bring her uh, fear level up really fast. I found. Yeah, this this couch right there is like might be my favorite scare in the game. Look, they got a basketball hoop. Every time you make a basket, it falls into a fish tank. Brilliant. Yeah. Okay. Who's next? Oh, Vito's right up here. Let's corner him, even though he's... Oops. Oh, we got this girl. I'm going to go after her. Now that you mention it, I, I feel like I, I didn't have nearly as much trouble as three as I did with two house number two the couple times I encountered them dude she's trying to I she thinks she's gonna leave this bathroom and I'm not gonna let her till she's scared man it's nice having those orange scares for that on, on this level, she comes to this bathroom, and it's pretty manageable. It's not too hard to scare her. How awesome is that? Oh, oh sorry. What did you say about Dude, yeah. Tony going toward the bedroom? I missed In that. this level, Mimi goes towards the bathroom, and Tony goes towards his bedroom, and they're both pretty easy to scare out of those rooms. And then oh. right out of the house after that. Wait, you're saying... Okay, all right. Let's see what this... 
Ooh, look at the karate fist and foot moves coming out of that TV. It's pretty scary. She should be running for the exit now. So go in the next. Oh no, she's going the other way. I probably should have used that orange scare then. She's, she's ready to leave the house though. So if you get her in, into a room without it with uh with an exit, oh, she she's our, oh. jumped three rooms. See, wow, that's what I was saying. They don't often go to that side of the house, but I learned the other day that Mimi goes there because I never really scared her and just let her run over there. I'm just gonna work on this kid because she's too far away now. I don't really know what to do if that happens. Listen, Tony's gonna run out of one of these doors on the left or right, and either way, there's an exit in the next room. He's the easiest one on this house. All right, we'll see. So he's running that way. Definitely grab that ecto. So, Didn't. All right. He should be one scare out of the house. So you're saying this couch is the best? It's one of my favorites. It's great. Uh -huh. <laughs> I never got that one before. That's brilliant. I thought I mean, it was just like a like a a thing that they overlooked. That they put a basketball hoop over a goldfish tank? Yeah, or... I I didn't even think about it until I did that scare, and I was like, yeah, why That's, did you even... How did they think of that? Between that and Salacious Crumb, uh, you know, Jabba's, Jabba the Hutt's sidekick, oh, yeah. throwing turds out of a toilet. I mean, that's pretty creative. <laughs> Props I, whoever I, thought I of that. I noticed the other... Or yesterday night when I was playing... Oh. She came back! Look, she jumped like four rooms in that in that process back to where I want her. That's amazing. Is that your favorite Star Wars character, Gwen? <laughs> <laughs> that I, guy? I, I, had, I had to substitute... By the way, when I said I got called into work today, I had to substitute teach a fourth grade, and I wore a Darth Vader mask, and they didn't really appreciate it. Yeah, Salacious fifth, is a good... Fifth, fifth grade, though, was all about it. I had um I had the toy because it went along with the uh, regular job of the hut, but I wanted the rancor to go with it. But I also had the band, and no, I don't mean the god awful CGI band with the dumbest song ever. The one that's in the original movie. That's pretty sweet. I had those toys when I was a kid, and Jabba's slab that he nice. sits on opens up, and you could store like. You know, victims in it. I had a Gamorrean guard a too. <clears throat> I've always wanted a rancor. Dude, I didn't have the rancor, man. My neighbor had it though, and we would combine them sometimes in the sandbox or whatever. But I've always wanted a real one, not to like throw people to, just to like you know, it's there. It's suggested that they could get thrown there. I'm not gonna do it, but I mean, a real a real rancor pit. Yeah. I hear you. And just that speaking of gimp, there's like a, a gimp looking guy kind of guarding the Rancor pit. Remember those guys? They look like definitely like Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, dungeon slave man. Like Mr. Slave or something. Mr. Leather. Okay. Wait, that scare doesn't even scare him, does it? Where it's like the girl in the it's like a non scare. Girl in the towel. Or does that actually oh, wow. hurt him? It, no, that that scares him. Uh, he, if he's too close to that one, I've noticed it's almost like he doesn't see it. Ah, yeah. Well, we'll see. I I, I feel like it doesn't scare him, but you're. Per oh, God. It, but if I don't they, know. If their line of sight angle is weird sometimes. It, it's almost like there's a hitbox for it or something. Like sometimes it won't work. I gotta be careful, man. Look at my health already. It's pretty bad. <sighs> Come on. No! Don't do that ever again. Okay. Oh, hold, yo, I'll be right back. I gotta go yeah, that's, that's cool. I just gotta get back out of this dungeon. Man, I'm losing my, my aim at jumping at these. There we go.
Where are you? Come on, grab it, dude! Oh, going back down, huh? There we go. Alright, I just feel like doing a safe state, even though I'm kind of doing bad. I'm almost out of this house. Alright. Is he scared? He's calm. Yeah, he did get scared by that. You're right. You're right. Here comes Plunger of Death. Or that's a scale. <laughs> He's so scared of that plunger. <laughs> His reaction is so over the top. Alright, where is he at? He's gotta be at high. Oh, he's at very high. He's gonna run, probably, already. Yeah. Alright, Vito. Bye-bye. He's not running? How's he not running? What's going on? What else can I do in this room? Alright. If that doesn't do it, I will be upset. Leave, dude! There's... <laughs> How many times do I gotta scare this guy? There you go, there's pants. If he doesn't leave, I'm gonna freak out. I've wasted my whole ectobar on this guy. Good God. This is actually, this almost seems wrong. Like, why would he need this many scares? And now I missed out on all the Ecto he was gonna drop, because I ran out of things to do in this stupid room. Well, I'm just gonna reload the state. Something was, something just didn't seem right, like, right there. What I was doing. <laughs> bum, 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 ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. Maybe I was overlapping these these green ones too much. Alright, so if I just do this one, that should get him out of the room. You would think. You would think. But it didn't work last time. Just in case, we're... He's still at home. Get this plunger up your butt. Get out of here. Leave. Leave, dude. Why won't he leave? What else can I... Oh my god. This is so dumb. He's not gonna leave. This is exactly how I did it last time. That's bogus, man. What's going on with this? All right. I'm gonna do it this way. I'm gonna do these blue scares. Oh, this isn't human. Yeah. There's one hidden back here. I could have used that before. All right. I think this will work better. I think I was overusing the green scares. Oh, and then he leaves right away. Yep. That seems like the strat. Let, let's see if I can reproduce that. I don't know. I mean, at least it's better than what I was doing. That isn't even it. I want to do the orange one first. Just to get him started. Get him turned this way, hopefully. And then just do these two. And hopefully he runs out. I think that's how I did it last time. Nope. 
that didn't work the same way. I'm trying to replicate what I just did in this room. This room. All right, Gok. So this room, I felt like I had was just had to scare him so many times to get him out. So I want to see if I can. He, I, on this level, he runs back into the. He's set on going to this bathroom. No matter what, if he's on his way to the bathroom in the beginning of this level, if you try to break his path, even if you're successful in breaking his path, he's still going to go after this bathroom somehow. You have to let him come into this bathroom at least once. How come he didn't get scared by this one? What is that? All right. It, this, this bathroom sometimes, like, he... he it's like he can't make line of sight with some of the scares. Yeah. All right. So what happened while you were AFK there? I um. Use I had a spell if you have one. Oh, that's a good idea. But I I had like two straight attempts where I just could not get him out of this room. But uh, then I did something a, a certain way, and I got him out really quick. But I don't remember exactly. So I did this thing. And this thing. The toilet scare is good. And then this one. And then he left. I think this is how I did it. So I'm just gonna there's wait. An, there's an orange scare in the bottom of the bathroom. Too, that's useful. Yeah. This is yeah. I start at right at the orange one here just to get him started. Yeah. And then he runs away. That works pretty good. But I'm telling you, the first two attempts, I just could not get him out of here. So, let's see if I can replicate this. Wait, it was supposed to go in the orange scare, and it went to the shower head? Wait, what? <laughs> okay. Sometimes you just mess. <laughs> I've missed. Yeah, it just jumps halfway across the room. I, I get cocky. Nope. There's another I shower. I that using both the orange scares in this room is, is uh, useful to get him to run into the room with the exit. Otherwise, he's going to try to run towards like the hallway towards the middle of the house. See, there I meant to touch this black thing, and I touched the orange scare. He still ran. He still ran, even with the orange scare. So that's pretty sweet. Well, that at least kind of solves that problem, because that room was a problem when, when I reloaded the state, or got out of the dungeon, I mean. Bye-bye! My score is at 70-some thousand. I might be able to get up to... I hopefully won't need more. Oh god, I should have done the orange. Well, to be honest... On the boss, when you get sent to the dungeon, you get so many points from killing those dudes that multiply, you just keep getting uh, 50,000 points like every other time. Oh really? That's probably why it seemed like they gave me an extra life when I first got to the guy. Yeah, uh, like on the boss, it's not too hard because you can literally just grind for points and, and get mad points and get 50,000 points. I'm wondering if you can like max out the points that way. I've never tried. Oh, we gotta do this again. We gotta do this again. <sighs> oh, he's down to medium. Hopefully this gets him back uh, running. And there's an exit right there too. That'd be a good, good scare swish. to go out on. Not a swish, but anyway. yeah, he's leaving. All right. Bye. Peace. All right, we got one more here, so well, we got a dungeon and one more. Okay. Yeah, the the ricocheting off the walls when you jump is pretty disorienting every time. Sometimes it's actually like like useful to do it to get you back out of a corner you know I don't know specifically any times but I feel like I've done that mm -mm. Ah. 
Oh, I missed. Oh, I didn't miss it. Okay. That one I missed. Yeah, jumping is really where it's at on these later dungeons. You almost couldn't get by without it. Just dodging things that come at you. Yeah. All right, let's get out of here. Nope. Okay. All right. All right. We're in the fourth house. And after that, I don't care because I already covered the boss. Do, 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 do. All right. I'm not even going to mess with her yet. She'll at least block him from going one way. I'm still kind of feeling out this house. It's not too hard, but like... Oh, that's cool that I, I can't, could catch him before he... I can't he... manipulate it as easily as I can the third house. Some of the things that I do on the third house don't work here. Yeah, you're saying the third house is the one you've grinded more. I mean, I've, I've put the most time into it recently, but I found a lot of things out that I didn't realize that I've been trying to apply to the other levels. And I mean, I haven't put as much time into the, them since I've learned those new things, but... Yeah, I'm uh, starting to make more sense. quite the same way on this fourth level. <laughs> I'm starting to make more sense out of, like, how to use the color colors of scares yeah like that's what i didn't understand that for you know it's like when do you when do you use what colors and it's you know because you're just randomly doing them like all right well yeah whatever's more, closer I'm whatever they're cool, looking at you know like whatever i probably should have saved this orange scare no he's running but he's going back this way though i should have used the orange he, scare he loves this bathroom all right, so I, if he comes back, I got him stuck. He just kept going in and out of this bathroom. I don't, I, I couldn't break his. Oh, good. He's finally going a different way. All right, there's a cactus in the bathroom. There's a cactus. Oh, I gotta do the golf. I like that PC though. I I had a cactus. Golf in it. My bathroom. Golf it. Get golfed in the face. Wham. Oh, you went into the. Well, then the orange, the golf is orange, so overrode oh, yeah, you got it. Yeah. Dude, at least I got to do a golf scare. That's all I care about. Golf scare. <laughs> that way we get to sneak golf into Sega Ween. Yo, 90s beige, you're talking about that computer? Damn straight. Yep. Yeah. And it started off as white, but it had that, um... <laughs> reagent in it whatever chemical it was to i think to cut the bromide or something or bromide might have been the chemical but then but everyone used to think it was from cigarette smoking and people are like yo i had a super nintendo turn brown no one in my family smoked and then they found out that there's actual science but for years that was the street lingo on brown like smoke detectors and like anything that was white plastic back then man Bromide is <laughs> to stop army. Got you're right. thinking of um, uh, saltpeter. There's been a lot of urban chat about that as well. Bromide. I don't know, man. I've seen it like in chemistry class. I, would, I, right. I don't know if it was. Bro it might have been a totally different chemical that they used in the plastic. And I don't even remember why. An old headset I found at work right now, and it is 90s beige. Nice. A headset? Now that I think about it. This, it, it, I don't think it's, you know, it, it's almost definitely from the 90s, this headset. Saltpeter is for muskets? What? <laughs> uh, history class tonight. I, I wish I could believe any of it, but uh, we don't need, we don't need, we're, we're not, we're, if you're coming here for history facts, you've gone to the wrong place. But I do like history. What do you mean? What do you mean? It's, 
This this is borderline education. Yeah, dude, and also come here for all of your news, po uh, politics coverage, and um, the latest in in the world of science. Because we are. Wow, that's a bad spot. Holy cow. Uh, we're a trusted news and information source here at Sega Crew. Oh my god, I'm getting crushed. I better get through. Get out of here, man. Really? I'm getting destroyed on this dungeon. Alt facts. <laughs> yeah, it's not. Uh, it's kind of like cousins, I think. They're kind of related. <laughs> I've. Sometimes do the same thing. I always thought science was just like Thomas Edison doing trial and error. I thought that's what science is just trial and error. Let's see if this works. Nope. Let's see if this works. Nope. Repeat times a million. That's science. Uh, oh god, I thought I was being pulled into a dungeon again, but I was just stuck on that treasure chest. I gotta practice this house, man. I don't know where the orange is. That's what I was looking for. Like, I don't remember any of this. This, I really like this scare too. The fly turns into Mimi for some reason. Oh, I didn't even see that. I saw the fly. I do remember this room because I remember that conch it shell up gives there. Gives me a very uh, Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> she kind of does look like. Wait, how did she run into this room? Fly, and then her, the fly's face turns into your daughter. I could have sworn she ran in here and her son is in it. Oh, and she's back in here again. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. I tried to go in the treasure chest. I'm not being smart. I should have gone for this bed right away. Hey, Raptor, what's up? Yo, yo, what's good in the hood, Raptor? <laughs> now now Lucas is, is uh, oh, being blamed for ruining Star Wars. I, I always like doing that where, like, if someone's name is... Like, just name a first, like, if someone's name is, uh, Ken, I'd be like, oh yeah, you related to, uh, Ken Griffey Jr.? I had a, I had a, uh, a sixth grader come up to me the other day and tell me that, you know, Star Wars A New Hope is a really underrated movie. It doesn't get enough attention. It, like, but okay. that's true, because time, <laughs> time revert, like, it, like, like, what? Like, Did he's from a generation movie? that typically doesn't really know the difference between a good or a bad movie. Because movies are kind yeah. of almost obsolete now. So, like, The Godfather would be, like, the most boring thing or something. But then, there's always that kid he's that... Just... He's yeah. a cool kid. He like, came out of nowhere, though. I was like, alright, word. There's a... There's a... um. I sold an Atari to a guy that was like my age, and he said his. Oh wow. His he said his twelve year old son Lucas, is into that, it. I I I could just imagine that that's exactly what I'm imagining, Katy Perry. Wait, Katy Perry actually said that? <laughs> oh no! God bless her. I, I, I can picture it. Well, I mean, that's the thing, though. People come down on celebrities that are like, say Neil deGrasse Tyson's thing isn't music. If he tried to make music, it would be probably just as embarrassing. Then again, maybe he is secretly good at music, but you get what I'm saying. Um, I mean, I'm trying to defend Katy Perry right now at, at what time is it? 5 5.46 a.m.? Yeah. That's just, what. that's where my life is taken. I think um, she'll be good. She'll be all right. <laughs> you think she'll be good? She'll be. I'm going to the dungeon. I got fifty. I got fifty thou though. She'll survive it. Wait, how did my points get down to? F what? Or maybe it was ninety-one. In I thought future, I saw fifty. Which future? 
like right now compared to the just the future a i want to be a part of or is it one of these ones where I, I gotta go on like some quest to like undo it i really don't feel like doing that shit right now. man i'm having trouble aiming my jumps right now i'm losing it all right that's better that's not better i do not want to oh. Do not want to have to go back to a dungeon, so I'm gonna actually try and not die here. So I'm gonna go slow. Here comes another hallway. It's... When you're on when you're on a level and you do the dungeon, it just like flips. Oh, how did I miss that? Are you kidding? Did I get it? All right, that time it, it took. Oops. I like that how the arrow's still pointing off screen when you're already like grabbing the Ecto. No! Oh! 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 I gotta go all the way back here. All right. Let's try house number four again because I just got wrecked. I almost got through it. You, you were you were doing it solid. Yeah, but I was dropping the ball on, like, say right here, getting the orange scare right in the room. Like, I wasn't really focused. Oh, she Ooh. She, already, she was, was sitting right by the door there. All right. That was dumb there, too, because I should have done this. So now she, that's a she goes back and forth between this entryway and that living room a few times for some reason. Yeah. Um, What's she at? Okay, she ran. Grab, grab. I just want to, like, get out of this dang, gosh dang house, I tell you. I, I keep trying to force her out by just making her go back and forth between that hallway a bunch of times, but it doesn't, like... Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, it's going on right now. I know what I want to do, though. I'll get her back into here. Where's the orange? God, I tried to grab the thing on the wall. All right. All right, hopefully she goes back in here. And then I want to... Oh, no, she doesn't. Okay, well, that's probably for the best. Oh, she left. <laughs> All right, I'll take it. Oh, that, that worked out. That wasn't what I was trying to do, but I guess I scared her enough times that she eventually... All right. If, if, you, if you get her to... Uh, not stay in that living room, I think Flo will walk around and won't stay in that hallway. Wait a second, do we have to... What time is your uh, thing? Is that coming up? Uh, the Typing of the Dead? It's at 10. Oh, it's at 10. All right, well, I'll just finish this up. 10. Hello, Acid Hermit. Cheers. Let me get the chat back up here. Acid Hermit, hello. And also Boo. And also Boo. Yeah, get clown puked. All right, he's still at low, though. I have a feeling this is gonna be another one of those rooms, another one of these bathrooms with this guy. This guy's got a real bathroom problem. I'm starting to, starting to gather. He, except for the first level, he's always going for the bathroom. Hey, here's our favorite, Salacious Crumb. Throw, oh, this time first he just level, ate the he turd. Goes for that garage. That time he just ate the turd and that scared it. He didn't even throw him around yeah. the room. Pretty awesome. Yeah, that's about as scary as someone throwing it at you. That's probably more scary. Not really. I don't know. Oh, I just you saw like turn any water into blood, Raptor. I just saw some video where like some dumb parents were like filming their kid looking at a baboon at a zoo, and it just started throwing turds, and the poor like daughter, like twelve year old daughter, had poop speckles on her face, <laughs> and the dad was just kept on filming gagging like uh, uh, like don't help your poor humiliated kid you know <laughs> but yeah those Yo, monkeys if, will throw if, turds man if this was phasmophobia these people wouldn't be able to catch me if they were 
were trying to catch me and I was the ghost. Like, Alright, this guy better run right run. now. Oh, and by the way, sh do I want him to go in this upper left door? No. Um, I want him to go back, so I'm gonna just scare this door in case he tries to run that way. You want All him right. to go towards an exit, so go in... Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, so he's going towards the exit. So this should get him out of here, hopefully. Ah, oh, of course he turns around. Because the CPU cheats. Well, he, he, should, he should go out right here. Yeah, hopefully. Alright, there he goes. It's like the Nickelodeon scare. Right, I'll just do a save state, because I haven't really messed anything up up to this point. So Flo is not here. Flo is here. Right? Where's an orange? We got a golf. We got a golf scare. Whammo. I like it. And then we got our 90s tan. Oh, I didn't try to do that. Where are you going, lady? Get scared. Where is she going? Where do you, what do you think you're doing? All right, well, I guess she's going that way. Go for the or I think going for the orange right away when they, especially when they're not at very, or when they're still at like calm, is the way, like a lot of times. I, I do it a lot just because I want to scare them quick, so it's... Yeah, just you to do it quite a bit. get you, the ball. Like, but like I was saying before, you just have to be cognizant of like, they might, you might be forcing them through a certain door for better or for worse. Yeah. Well, this, I already used up the orange, so we'll, we'll see where she goes. Unless there's another one. Hi, yeah, she's still at high? We're not, we're not too concerned about spelling. You better go get scared by that. Oh, there's another orange here. All right, that's good. God. Do I have a spell or what? Oh, I got it. I got it. Yes. Didn't need it, but... I have it in case I do. All right, that's good. I got the ecto spell, kind of in the wings. Um. So this is the fourth level. I. I mean, you don't have to do this, but like you know, when I'm trying to just beat it in one shot, I like to save the ecto for right after I scare the fourth person use it and then I can take on the boss with a full Oh meter. yeah, cause the Ecto is like a health bar on the boss, huh? Yeah, so that way I, I don't have to go to the dungeon and I can beat oh, the yeah. boss without going to the dungeon. It's a good idea. While in, while in the boss. Um, you know, but at, at, at one point I was able to scare them out of the fourth house without having to go to the dungeon because Using uh, Voodoo and Super Scare, they drop a lot of Ecto. Super Scare, they drop like a... All right, I should go for that then. Worth. I'll I'll try that like advice here. When you when you drop a uh, oh, dog's gonna take your Ecto. Wait, I didn't hit the right button. Oh my god! Oh my god! Do it! Do it! Okay. Well, first I'll do this. I, I have to, but I wanted to try this anyway. Damn it, that's what I should have done. Well, there's no point now. Yeah, super scare. Like, that's the way that you can do the first level without having to go to the dungeon. If you use super scare on, like, the third person you scare out, it'll drop a huge amount of ecto and it'll fill most of your bar back up. Yeah, I kind of messed that up because my ecto is getting so low. I didn't want to chance it. But, um, yeah. but I, um, okay. But ideally, I would have gone in there. See, what confused me, too, is just the mechanics of using that menu. Like, I'll hit C to bring it up, but you have to hit C to use the spell, and that seems like the opposite, so I'll hit A. Yeah, I, I hit the wrong button on the spell. Sometimes I don't activate it. Sometimes I bring up the menu accidentally. The, the spell menu is clumsy. Yeah, that happened to me like three times in a row there until I my Ecto had ticked down just low enough I had to use the Ecto spell. That's not a big deal. I should hopefully still have a full bar at any rate, because he's the last guy, I think. This kid. 
Come on, kid. What are you doing? Yeah, I mean, to be honest, you only need like 80% of a bar, maybe 75%. Yeah, I can't even remember what I did on the first phase other than just jump kick like crazy. But the second phase I had down pretty good. Hopefully. Alright, dude, just leave. Alright. Still almost full health if this kid would just leave. But I think he will go into that other room right here. Good, good, good. He's gone, Ski, right? Who else is... Oh, no, he's not. He's not gone, gone. I like the... Dude, that's awesome pixel art, that chair. Because that's like the early 90s kind of southwestern rug thing that was popular. People would wear it. They, they would make them into those hoodies. Yeah, man. That's cool. Alright. Well, I don't have a full health bar, but we're just gonna go... I, I gotta look at this boss. You, you might have just enough. <laughs> yeah. I mean, depending on how good I do on the first phase. Like I said, I don't really remember offhand what I was doing. Okay, we gotta actually bomb him like that. Don't worry about them too much, just keep... A lot of times they'll miss you. Yeah, but I gotta worry about my health here, man. And that, and I don't really know what to do here. Okay. Oh, I'm stuck in that corner. That corner is awful. Ah! Oh, and also, if I if I die, I think it continues the progress of the fight. Is that true? Um, it'll it'll start on whatever phase you're on. So it'll, this guy will start over. And this you See those things. Over. So it'll start in the beginning now. Oh wait, no, 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 wait. I thought I was dead by that sound. All right, now I'm dead. Now I gotta do this again. Uh, I'd rather not. I gotta just get good at this boss. I don't really have a strat for this first phase. Kind of just standing right there in the center. This is where you can kind of get a feel from the Oh man. See, when he's not there and I throw it short, it doesn't blow up on the ground, but. Oh my god. It's so hard to hit him, even though he's moving so slow. Hey, what about this? Just go back and forth doing this? Come on! Get him, boy! I think I got him. Well, at least I got my Ecto back, or my health bar, yeah. which I didn't, whatever, didn't you really need. You get a lot of points for destroying every one of those little dudes. I'll just go through this dungeon again. I don't care. I want to be able to, like, actually beat this, this game. Easy, easier than level three and four. Yeah. I'm going to give this game a go and try to do my first actual playthrough. Um, when I do my block, um, at the end of Segaween, I'm gonna actually try and, and do it. I think I can. I haven't actually gone through and, and beaten this, though. 
Without save states. But I did, the only I thing mean, I used save states on was the boss, honestly. You, you have the right idea, so... Yeah, it's, it's pretty rough uh, around the edges, but at least I kind of get what's going on now. Yeah, and, and then it's just like, you know, like once I'm practicing a house or something, I'll, I'll see that, you know, the, the, which blue scares you use with that orange scare will... You know, Alright, now I definitely... Four scares, three scares. And you just play with the combos until you can get like a two or three scare out of everyone. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's gonna all come down to just fine-tuning it, but, I mean, kind of the other time I tried to play this uh, a couple of years ago, I just, just kind of running around hitting buttons, man. <laughs> it was like one of those games. I it really that's didn't know. Exactly what I, that's exactly what I was doing at the event last summer. I was like, you know, just jumping in and out of things. I was like, I don't, I don't know what ones are good, what ones aren't. Yeah. Oh, come on, because, give it I mean, to me. Even if, you, even if you read the manual, it, it doesn't really... It tells you what things... It tells you what things do, like the spells and the types of scares, but it doesn't really tell you the effects, like, you know, what... what yeah. It, yeah, like, to even ba have any basic understanding, I did look at the instructions. So I'm going to try this strat here to finish this guy. I think he only needs one hit, but if he ne needs two, I can still get him. But I'm going to try that off-screen thing. Or I can just do a mad dash, like, like this. Oh, and then I missed, and I totally missed. I'm there's no time limit though, right? Except for my health. No. So I'm gonna try and. Yeah. It's got to be hitting him. Oh my God! Are you kidding me? All right, let's try this again. I have a feeling this could be like a reliable thing. It's gotta be hitting him. Oh, he did it to me again. All right, let's try it from this side, even though it should be the same. Where is he? That is insane. That It's just not working this time. All right, I'll try it from the, the oops. Try it like that. Oh my god, really? I'm gonna actually die. Eh? Like, I wish you had better control of growing at him than he's coming at you. I need the Ecto! Ah! <laughs> Alright, let's. That was a complete oh, no. mess. I can do way better than that. Alright. Try this again. There's got to be a better way for this boss. Maybe just memorize where he walks. Like he, I think he goes this way next. Yeah. Whoa, man, I'm getting wrecked right here. Jesus. All right. All right, we're definitely just jump kicking these guys. They're destroying me. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah, that's the first phase. All right. Oh, God. You're getting fast. Give me an Ecto. Oh! <laughs> so close. All right, I'll just go through this. And there's my star. I'll get it this time. Here, by the way, that's a perfect place to do a save state while you're getting hit, right? Oops. <laughs> Don't care. I think this. I think we covered everything though on this game, for real. Like, I mean, not everything, but enough to get me going on it, to get me through yeah, it. Yeah. No, no. You. You. You should be able to beat it with what you're doing. You have the right idea and the right instincts. 
I couldn't even get close before. I, I like, don't even think I ever beat House 2 and I tried, it's like... Just... Yeah, like it's not... So, yeah, I'll it's give this easy. one a go. Once, once you have an idea of what's going on, it's not hard, but like, it, it's not easy if you're playing as blind. Not a lot of it is explicit. Yeah. Well, it's not even that easy anyway, but it's not the hardest game in the world, that's for sure. That's what, what I gather about um, Comic Zone. I've never beaten that, but it seems so insanely hard. But then if you see someone that knows what they're yeah. doing, it's like, that's oh. One that I feel like it, it always seemed hard, and people say that all the time. But then once I saw like, the speed of it, it's like, oh, shit. All right, I'm going to try and... Way this whole time. Try and gather them up down here so I could... No, that didn't work. They're not following me. Come down here, everyone. What are you doing? I hate when they just yeah, stop. Play. Come down. I play more with trying to hurt them. Ah, that wasn't working at all. It wasn't working at all. I'm gonna try something different. I'll just, if I see the opportunity, I'll go for it, but I can't even hit him right now. Really? Where's your hitbox? There we go. I'm doing the double tap. It seems like you get extra dis distance if you hit it like three times, four times. Here we go. Get that guy off screen. There's that. Oh, I missed him. I'm gonna get chased in this corner. Yeah, we're holding it down too. Oh, is that what does it? Really? Maybe that's what what's making the double taps work like that. Oh, that's dirty. All right, here we go. Get that guy stuck. There we go. No, you can hit the mob screen. It's just hard to hit. Like the. The throwing in this is not straightforward. It's All right, really I'm... hard to explain. You just gotta like feel it. I think this this way, like getting him on le left or right, and then just doing that is the best way because he moves so fast. I actually got pa too far past him. Oh come on with the hitbox! All right. Oh come on! I got stuck on the corner. Oh my god, this guy's giving me such a hard time. Ah! <laughs> come on! Nope. There we go. Oh no, no. Totally gonna die again, because I cannot hit this guy. <sighs> I'm so mad right now. Alright. No, you don't have to hit him on screen. That's what I was at. I actually killed a couple of them off screen like that. off screen it's nice because when they're off screen they don't move there's one. Oh, I thought I had him oh come on Lamo. And these guys are not interested either. Alright, we got this last one, but I think he's gonna split in two. That guy's death sound was no. so long there, for some reason. There's a, lim a limit to the multiple. There it is. That's what I was trying to do that whole time. Just draw him from left to right and then just land one, but I just couldn't yeah. get it. <clears throat> there, I did it first try. Um, Dude, man, this has been get really helpful. Like, between this stream and you in chat, this has been super helpful. Like, a, a thousand percent. Because I just thought this game was not impossible, it, but... It seemed daunting. It, this isn't me beating the game, though. That's what I'm going to be going for tomorrow night. Or tonight, really, I mean. 
t the next, yeah. yeah. A day well, later from now. Um. I, 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 wait, what are you gonna do? A, a run of Immortal and then play this? Yeah, I'm gonna do a long play of the Immortal. Um, if you wanna, I wanna take, uh, I don't know if you wanna go over the Immortal right now. If not, it's totally cool. But it, I'm gonna do a um, long play at midnight or a one year time. I gotta do a couple things before I do uh, typing at 10. That's cool. Hey, we got this one out of the way though. I think we yeah. covered um, more than enough to get going on it. But uh, eventually I do wanna speed run this game, it's fun. a blast like I, i've had a, a lot of fun just with this game and plus even just though hard casual speed run whatever and even though it's a really different game i think like it's it would be fitting like to, for you if you wanted to learn the immortal because there's a lot of the same kind of feel going on it's obviously the I, same company yeah i i do i i I should probably read the manual. Isn't like the manual huge for that one? No, it's not huge, but you should read the manual and try to go through it blind, even if you do watch the long play. Cause, cause that's what helped me. Um, even when I was a kid, like I went through the Nintendo one and it was like, when I grew up and played it so many years later, I basically forgot everything. So I was using the manual for that, and for stage one and two, are, it's that game is weird because stage one and two are basically the gauntlet, and once you learn those, you should be able to figure out the puzzles in, in the rest of the game, even on games that control, to, or uh, stages that control totally different. And the, the manual kind of gives you a, some hints, kind of, Pushes you in the right direction on the first two stages, and then after that, you're on your own. So I, I recommend looking at the manual. I'll check it out. And plus, any clues, no matter how esoteric in that game, are going to be in the game. The game will give right. you riddles and stuff, and yeah. Or like a guy will give you a hint as he's like passing out, and there's a missing piece of it, or something. Like, just stuff like that, and... It's really rewarding to figure out blind just because, well, then you get to read yeah, the I like, dialogue. I like that. I'll, I'll, I'll probably play it next week then, and then maybe I'll... Yeah, uh, man. Like I'll, I'll read the manual and try to play it blind, and then... Uh-huh. I'll, I'll, I'll see what happens. That's kind of where I went. I played this a couple years ago, looked at the man manual, was really blind at it, and then now it's like I got a pretty good handled coming back to it so anytime if you want to pick that game up i do recommend trying to learn it blind um most people uh are a little overwhelmed by the blind run of the immortal just because it is there's a lot of cryptic stuff but it's not bad me and mcfly both went uh learned it blind uh when we did what two years ago now so it can be done yeah. Um, and I recommend taking notes too, man. Don't be afraid to bust out that notebook or a text file or something, you know? Yeah. See, Write things down. I don't, do that. I don't do that enough sometimes. I For really that game, you want to. You definitely want. It's one of those. Right. It's not like Shadowgate level, but it, it is like a write things down. Maybe even draw a crude map of something. I, I haven't gotten into Shadowgate yet, but I've wanted to. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good. That's one that my brother and I tr like gave up on when we were kids. We got stumped. I think we got into a save state that we could we needed to like start over or something. One of those. But uh, yeah, man. Do you wanna you wanna cut out here and then get get the uh, typing of the dead ready? Word. Yeah. And all are, that. Are you, are you gonna keep streaming? No. I don't think so. Unless, I mean, wh what do you guys want me to play? I have some games lined up for tomorrow, so I don't want to, like, dig into those cards, so I probably... Probably gonna cut the stream. <laughs> Alright, yeah, no worries. I was just wondering. Um...
I like right, that yeah, no, font. I'm, I'm gonna come back at 10 because I, I gotta go and do some stuff before I stream so that way I don't get interrupted all day because I want to just be able to stream and chill all day without dealing with stuff. Yeah, man. Thanks for, I mean, I know it's late for you and you got to stream later, but thanks for uh, taking all the time out and Word going through up. this. Perturbator? Perturbator? Perturb? That sounds like a... A real, real fearsome uh, foe to fight in a video game. All right, guys, uh, we're gonna we're gonna cut out. Gogzara is gonna be back at what? Ten your time, back so three more hours. Ten a.m. Eastern, so two hours. Less than three hours. Forty yeah. minutes from now. I'm gonna be doing the story mode of typing and then maybe fooling around with some of the mini games. Ooh, Word up. Arthritis percent run. Arthritis so percent. I'm gonna go uh, <laughs> pre prepare my hands right now. Hey, implosion! implosion. What's up? We're ju you can just in time. We're gonna cut the stream till uh, three, two and a half more you, hours. You just, you just missed an impromptu 5 a.m. haunting. Tutorial. Yeah, we totally just Sorry. threw this together. But it was a success. I would have told you, but this this came out of nowhere. Yeah, nobody planned um, this. It was like the the whole Sega Ween thing was lights out for the night, and we just tossed it up there. So, all right, but we'll see you guys later in the the morning. But I'll, I'll be I'll be I I've been playing this all week, and uh, we did try to do a race the other night, and it, not um, me, see, you and Pen Pencil. Yeah. Yeah. Zetox though is gonna play Immortal tomorrow night, and then he said he's gonna take a run at this. So yeah, we're gonna do a similar like tomorrow, learning stream dude. with the Immortal, but Gok is gonna get get his feet wet with the Immortal first, which is smart. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a more organized tutorial stream of this too in the future. <laughs> Um, yeah, more advanced stuff would be what, cool, what, but what, I don't I need it. I figure out a couple things about the fourth level. By the time I'm ready to speedrun this, you'll probably already learn more things to throw into the... I'm always learning new things. Yeah. That's why I love this game. Like, every time I play it, I'm learning something new. Uh, yeah, Gok is in kind of quiet mode right now. Probably by the time you're uh, right streaming later, you'll be a little... Yeah, I'll, I'll be able Loud. to make a little noise in a little while. All right, guys. Peace out. We're just going to cut it and, and be, back, uh, be back for Typing of the Dead. See you then. And also, boo.